Hello, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com, and I want to talk about uh, general health. And <laughs> the, the reason is general health is the most simplest thing you can do to stay healthy. Uh, it just amazes me that how people, well, for one thing, I don't think people really understand how the body works. And then when I'm doing hoi chi, you can tell they, they have no idea how the body works or how their body works. And, um, but the thing is, uh, okay, you know, I've, I've traveled around a lot. I've worked on people that lived in, uh, uh, what do you call them, the, the waste landfills. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, they lived on a landfill. They, all their needs are provided to them from what that landfill provides them. I mean, we're talking shelter, we're talking water, <laughs> we're talking food. And these people lived like that. Now, I will admit, <laughs> I've never seen any old people living like that. And the reason is, they're bringing in so much toxins. The, I mean, the their food was not that good. What you get out of a landfill, the food's not all that good. And um, well, I say the not not only the I say what I what I just said, but also they breathe uh, all that from the landfill. And uh, okay, uh, to to have a healthy body. You need nutrients, and nutrients are provided by the food that we eat. And uh, you need uh, water, and uh, the best is clean water. That's, that's why I, all my water is run through a Berkey. Uh, and that's because it's the cleanest water I can possibly get for myself. Uh, any time, any place, uh, I always have my Berkey with me. Now, uh, when I travel, uh, I have uh, small hand, like a little, like these water bottles that not a, that you buy a water bottle uh, with water in it, but I mean a, a filter uh, from uh, the, the water. So. My water is always, always clean. This is something that I can do. I mean, I can provide myself with good, clean water. Now, uh, when I'm in restaurants and some th stuff like that, and then I'll, I'll have a glass of water, uh, usually a glass of water with lemon in it. And uh, so, but that's not a habit. What, what you look at is habits, what you do on a, on a regular basis. And then uh, air. You need good, clean air. You know, I'm an outside kind of guy. And I don't do city unless it's just on my way. <laughs> you know, so, uh, so my air is pretty good. Uh, the only exception is the cigar. Uh, I'll have the cigar. But even the cigar I smoke outside. Uh, why? I don't want to breathe the cigar. I smoke the cigars. Cigars smokes different than this other kind of stuff. And uh, the the reason the breathing is so important is you need oxygen. Your body needs oxygen. The food that you eat has got oxygen in it. Uh, unless you get that stuff that's, you know, uh, I think well, it nuke put it. They nuke it some way or another. You know, uh, now you probably don't even know it. Uh, nowadays, uh, people don't use fresh salad anymore. 
even when I had my restaurants, it was getting really hard to use fresh salad. And salad would last two, maybe three days maximum. Now you can go to the store and get salad to last you a week, <laughs> you know, so that tells you there's something that's, that's keeping that food from spoiling. Okay, what happens, the oxygen on food uh, is uh, it, it's good, but it's also bad. It's oxygen that breaks down the food. And uh, that's why you, you put, uh, if you'd ever get a, a, a fresh uh, head of lettuce, and put it on the counter, you'll see, it, it'll just leave it there. A couple, two or three days, it's not gonna be any good. Uh, so the oxygen is very important and we need it in our bodies. This is why the smoking, the smoking, they think, well, you know, they're smoking the cigarettes, well, the smoking's not good for you, but you don't know why. And the, the thing is, it's uh, putting nasty stuff inside your lungs and your lungs is where you get the oxygen when you're breathing. Okay, that's now, now we're back to the masks again. When you got the mask, you're, 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 the air that you should be breathing in and breathing out, you're just recycling it over and over. And it's not good air. You know, so that's why fresh air is, is so good for you. So, um, but uh, there's simple things that you do. This is why your diet, your regular diet, is important. Now, see, when I was younger, um, well, we owned a restaurant, so that was one thing. But under, when I wasn't owning a restaurant, there was times I was in the oil business and, uh, you know, I was in other businesses and stuff like that. And so um, we would go out to eat maybe once a week because we were able to have fresh food. We cooked our food. That's, that's my problem now. Uh, uh, my wife, she did all my cooking for me, so she, she knew she, want, she wanted me to keep working, keep making money. She better make me healthy. So she all the time made sure I had healthy food. And, uh, and that's because the healthy food uh, breaks down as you eat it. And, uh, and I've talked about that, the digestion system and, and, and how that all works. And, uh, but the thing is, um, you need basic health to stay healthy. And now I'll tell you, I don't get sick at all. Uh, maybe in the past, uh, 20 years, uh, yeah, maybe the past 20 years, maybe a handful of times, maybe two or three times, uh, I've caught a cold. And the thing is, uh, I'm, I get myself into stuff, and this stuff comes in my system, and then my system has to deal with this stuff. And, uh, and when I say stuff, I'm talking about germs and, and just nasty stuff. And, but it's not a lifestyle. It's not something I stay in. And so then you get it, your body works it, and figures out how to deal with it, and then you go on. When you get a bunch of it, then it's, it's tougher on your body. But if you've got a stronger body, you can still take care of it. But the thing is, it's easier to handle it a little bit at a time. Uh, like this virus thing. Uh, now, I, I'm guessing. You remember, right now, everybody's still guessing. It, all these people, they're supposed to know for sure. They don't know. There's nothing we know for sure about this virus. About the only thing I know for sure is it's a, it's a little more highly contagious than um, the other viruses that, that you go with. But so many people get it still and they're not getting sick and dying. Well, that's because they're still able to uh, handle it and make it work. That's why f frail people are the ones that really need this to use caution. Now, will a mask do it? I don't know. That's where personal responsibility comes in. You have to figure out what's, what you need to do. And that's, that's why it's not good to start telling other people what to do because you really don't know what's going on. Now, even me, when I'm doing the hoi chi, I don't tell people what to do. I tell them which organs need to be taken care of. 
you get those organs taken care of, strengthen them, well, then you can handle more things, too. And uh, so it's important that you do general health. And, uh, and don't worry about all this other kind of stuff that comes around. Worry about doing the simple things and uh, good habits and uh, make sure everything's working good on your body. That's where I do the Hoi Chi. I'm able to explain to people their body, how their body is functioning. And they believe me. I mean, it's, I mean, like I say, it's a hands-on. And when I'm poking, and it, it hurts when I poke on there, there's a reason for it. And like I say, now I'll give you some ideas on how to strengthen it. But now you can do your research and figure out how to do it. But general health is what you need to take care of. You need it. Uh, you need to have good food, uh, good water, and oxygen, fresh air. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.